soaring masts and billowed sails, she catches the wind and pushes through the waves. Her rigging strained, she is beautiful, majestic, she journeys on. These are experiences that dreams are made of, that inspire the imagination, sailing on a tall ship. She captures the heart and soul of nearly everyone who climbs aboard. She is a floating classroom where future officers become true mariners. They work on her decks, they climb her rigging, they face and overcome their fears. Here, many young men and women will get their first experience of life at sea. Tradition, seamanship, character, her motto and her mission. She is the pride of the United States Coast Guard. She is Eagle, the largest tall ship flying the stars and stripes and the only active sailing vessel in U.S. government service. The primary mission of the Eagle is cadet training. Every cadet who goes through the Coast Guard Academy, who graduates and becomes an officer, will spend a minimum of six weeks on board Eagle. They'll do one week the summer before they begin their freshman year, or fourth class year as we call it. That experience actually wasn't too much difference from now, but uh, we were hauling on lines. It was just, back then it was kind of interesting because we had just been in the Coast Guard for about five, no, four weeks at that time. For many people, it's their first time out on the ocean. The short cruise, it was like really hectic. All I can remember is I was hungry and sleepy all the time. It was really overwhelming with all the lines and all the just sail stations, my first one. Having to go and being told to go here and there and haul on this line and do this. And I had no idea what was going on. We didn't really know what we were doing. It's just sort of like, come over here, pull on this line. Come over there, pull on that line. Go on through. Find your birthing area, check your name on the door. And then they'll do five more weeks their summer between the freshman and sophomore years. And that's the crowd that we've got on right now. We've got one half of the rising sophomore class at the academy, plus we have 21 of the rising seniors. Put your stuff down as soon as you find your rack. No, show them this way. This way. Thank you. My name is Jessica Crandall, and I'm from California. I'm first class cadet. That means I'm a senior at the academy, and I'm on board for 10 weeks. Step two, happening pretty much at the same time as step one. Is Seniors we put in the position of junior officers. We make them run the show. Put on a windbreaker or a foul weather jacket. Before I came to the academy, I was never on a boat before. As a senior cadet, I mean, I'm, not, I'm only 21, so you know, that's, but, but I am graduating as an officer. So even though I am young, I have to learn to deal with the responsibilities that will be given to me. Like this summer, I'm dealing with the entire third class, and I, I care about you know, how well they do, how their experience on Eagle, because a lot of times that determines whether or not they stay at the Coast Guard Academy or not, if people are thinking about leaving. Because after your first year, it can be really hectic. It can be a life-changing experience. We're not teaching people how to sail. We get asked that question about you're using a square rig sailing ship and everybody's gonna leave here, go out into the fleet on diesel and turbine-powered cutters, why do we do this? You want to teach them the traditions of their profession, which uh, what better way to teach the professions of going to sea than on a sailing ship? You need to teach a professional entry-level skills. Seamanship is our entry-level skill as a, a maritime officer. In order to be a career public servant, I think you have to have depth of character, and I think this whole Eagle experience uh, creates that. I hope to have a good time and you know, learn more about Eagle. There's lots of history behind it. Although Eagle isn't very much, you know, like the real, the real fleet, and when we can really get out there, but it's, there's a lot of, you know, team building and you know, character building, so it really helps out with that also. This is gonna make me learn my leadership skills better. How to like solve your own problems, just stuff like that, you know, teamwork, to character. Have more knowledge about all the parts of the ship and 
really, I think we're gaining more knowledge on the relationships between us and the enlisted people. And just like what life is like for a ship. We make people confront issues of lines under tremendous strain that can be intimidating to deal with. Putting them in cramped quarters for five weeks or ten weeks at a time. Close living quarters so you get to know everybody. And forcing them to learn to live with other folks. Anybody here that doesn't feel comfortable about climbing? That's why I'm, okay. Well, I'll work with it. No problem. This is up and over training. Everyone who comes aboard Eagle has to go up and aloft and down the other side. It's, to, it's a safety brief because Eagle's a working ship. If you want to take those sails down, the only way to get them down is to send somebody up there to push them off. We train them how to do that here at the, at the pier, where it's a real controlled environment. Some people are afraid of heights, and that's okay. The only thing we really ask if they're really afraid of heights is that you go one step higher each day. Go ahead, head up. <laughs> On our first day, we did our little up and, up and overs to the first trees and down. And uh, that was really scary. They say keep at least three points of contact. One hand for yourself, one hand for the ship, three points of contact, obviously. Also, when you have three points of contact, try not, try not to get it like on the same line, you know? The whole point of that is so you won't be like a hand swinging back and forth in the wind. It takes a while getting used to and a lot of practice. Um, I'm still a little iffy about going up so high. Going aloft definitely gets my blood going. I remember my knees shaking on the way up and down. I even get a little scared now, but you have to learn, as a leader, to not show that. Oh, I love going aloft. I'm not afraid of heights at all. That's the, that's the best part. <laughs> I still get scared when I go aloft. That's one of the most rewarding things, though. It gets really exciting whenever you're up there and you hear the command, let fall. Let fall! She ho! Which is the command to push the sail off. It always gets me really excited because everything's happening right then and there and you pick up an extra couple knots and you're moving forward and where else can you have something like that?